Okay, so in this video, let's have a look at the React app that we put together in the last video and let's just kind of go through, um, I'm going to go through and explain a few things in here, uh, what their purposes are and uh, whether or not you can remove them. So let's start off from package.json. So you'll notice that we have my app obviously and we have three dependencies here, which may seem kind of weird to you if you've done React before because with React, you normally have a lot uh, more dependencies. For example, you need, usually need Webpack, usually need Babel, all that kind of stuff. But you'll notice we have React, React DOM, and then we have this thing called React Scripts. And then for our scripts down here, uh, we have Start, Build, Test, and Eject. Basically, just run stuff inside of here. And this we'll have a deeper look at in just a second. We've got ESLint here as well. Uh, browsers list here. Uh, this isn't really for uh, any, any functionality specifically, but this just kind of lets you know, um, basically just specifies uh, which browsers can be used uh, for this React application. So now for React scripts here, I've actually got it open on uh, Chrome. So you'll find it um, under Facebook Create React App in GitHub. Uh, in, inside the packages, we have React scripts over here. So React scripts is essentially, if you look at the package.json for this one, you'll notice that they have a lot more. So they have uh, Babel in here, they have a Webpack for SVGs, I think that's for SVGs. Uh, you've got TypeScript, uh, ESLint, Babel stuff, .env. You've got more ESLint stuff over here, uh, Post CSS and Webpack. So basically, uh, what React Scripts does is it has all of these things and it kind of bundles them together. So by putting them together in just one uh, package like that, it makes it a lot easier to get started. So the whole concept of Create React App is it's an easy way to get started and create a React application. Uh, I would not recommend this if you were kind of going into a production environment. Personally, I like to set up my own environment and I will make a video to showcase that. But in this video and in the one before, we're just looking at using Create React App and we're looking at uh, how this thing works. So essentially, that's what uh, React Scripts does is it just contains all of the development dependencies that you normally would have to specify yourself and uh, be able to fine tune. It just does all of that for you. So now the main file going into here, and I'm not sure if it says here, so it doesn't say here, but um, it, the main file is index.js. Now this one's the kind of uh, beginning point if you uh, like to say that. So we've got import React from React, import React DOM, from React DOM, and we've got our CSS. So obviously in Webpack, they've set up the uh, the CSS rules as well. So the app obviously refers to the JavaScript file here and the service worker. So what does the service worker do? Well, this file here, essentially, uh, it's it's for loading fast on subsequent visits in production. So essentially, uh, service workers allow you to um, cache or store information locally, a certain amount of information. So um, that might be helpful if you're just kind of testing application or in a production environment, it just allows you to have part of the app uh, be stored locally so that even if the user goes offline, it can still be accessible. So that's what that does. Uh, we've got just a whole bunch of stuff here. You don't necessarily need this, but um, obviously it's just for performance benefits, but you don't need to include it if you don't want that. So um, we've got index.js here, which goes into app. And this is the app here, which is a component, a functional component here. Uh, we've obviously, we're using CSS class names here straight away. So there's no styled components in here by default, but you can install that. You can work with that uh, if you want to. So it's got a header, it shows hello YouTube and the learn react. And we've got the logo here. So obviously we also have uh, support for importing SVG files. So that's how the uh, logo is imported here for the image. And um, that's pretty much it. I mean, so from there into the app and it's pretty bare bones. There's no real uh, component structure inside of the SRC directory. So this is very bare bones, very simple. It's just to get you started. We've also got uh, app.test.js. Now this one here uh, is using some testing framework. I'm not exactly sure which testing framework they use, but I would guess that it's Jest. Yeah, so it's Jest because Facebook developed Jest and they also developed this thing. So that makes sense. Um, and it's just a really, uh, really simple app, really simple test, uh, but obviously you're meant to expand upon that and I uh, might cover how to do that in a later video. So inside of public here, we've got index.html. Now this is the file that kind of starts running the whole thing. Now you'll notice here that there's nothing in here about a script tag. So all of that gets injected into this file. However, this is the file that's being run as like the base uh, for this React app. So if I change the name here up the top uh, in the title, I'm gonna change it to hello YouTube, like so, and I save that. And if I refresh, it might not show because I probably turned off the server. So I'm going to turn that back on. CD desktop my app yarn start and let's have a look at this one. So now we've got that running over here. 
and you see on the top here it says hollow YouTube. So essentially that file here is connected and it is the base file here. And if you also uh, view source, you'll notice that we have the this part here, but it also injects some files here. So for the bundle and uh, two chunks of the files here as well. So that is create React app and that's kind of how this whole thing works. If you were to kind of simplify this uh, in terms of files, you could probably remove things like manifest.json, which is used more for um, progressive web app support. So you might not need that. And um, you might also not need a test if you're not